Eternal God, in whom we live and move and have our being, be present with us here now. Draw us near and embrace us with your infinite love. We pray for those especially afflicted by this sudden death. We pray that you would be the source of strength and comfort. We remember as well those who were injured in this accident. We pray for their friends and family, and we ask for their recoveries, that they will be swift and complete. O oh God, lighten our darkness. Guide us through this time of despair and doubt. Let us know of your presence in our midst that we might be strengthened by your love and your peace. Amen. We will honor Corporal Jimmy Murphy with playing of the last post, the observance of silence, the playing of a lament and a reveille. The last... for values of compassion, determination, and inclusiveness. Others will say we serve the regiment, this other family, where military values are inculcated, inculcated and professionalism. In these circumstances, I am reminded of a verse of one of Rudyard Kipling's ballad. Yes, making mock of uniforms that guard you while you sleep is cheaper than them uniforms and their starvation cheap. And hustling to know that all of us here, not just in the battalion group, but at all of Task Force Kabul, share in your pain. 
Yesterday, we paid tribute to the life and work of Corporal Jamie Murphy, the 1st Battalion, the Royal Canadian Regiment, who, on the 27th of January, sacrificed his life in the pursuit of security and stability in Kabul, Afghanistan. A memorial ceremony was conducted at Camp Julian, during which Corporal Murphy was eulogized by Corporal Donald Leblanc. Going, it was impossible to stop him, and the funny thing was, he just didn't want to. He had the unique ability to make everyone around him smile, no matter if you were digging a trench or on one of those refreshing morning runs. All it ever friend. Friends, let's pray. Gracious God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable unto you. Our rock, his family and friends, is profound. But the shattering of dreams is not a new experience. The passage that we heard from Isaiah 42 is God's declaration to an ancient nation whose hopes and dreams had been shattered by defeat. Isaiah tells the people that God will make them a nation that can bear witness to hope and to justice. The prophet declares that through them, the dream of God's justice 